If you are a solo creator, hobbyist, junior designer, or an AI engineer building visual features into your product, you've probably dreamed of auto-generating a consistent cast of characters in your unique art style. I sure did. I thought, why not have ChatGPT whip up some matching character art for me? All right, so I started by asking ChatGPT with its image generation mode to generate a few new characters in the style of my original. I even showed ChatGPT a reference image of my main character. I wanted a consistent style, like a best friend or a rival to my existing hero. What did I get? An image that kind of resembled the vibe, but the styling was a bit off and it kept inventing weird details. And a couple iterations down the line, it all looked like it was drawn by a completely different artist. One of them had a cloak melting into their skin. Another had extra fingers. It just kept getting weirder. I was basically yelling at my screen. Come on, GBT, just stick to the style. But of course, GBT 4.0, even with well-written prompts, has only somewhat of a real memory of visual style between generations. Every time you hit generate, it's like a roll in a style dice. Sometimes it's close, sometimes it's uncanny. Most of the time, it's just frustrating. In short, great for a one-off character art, but if you want multiple consistent characters that look like they're from the same universe or brand, ChatGPT's image generation starts to fall apart pretty fast. At this point, I thought there's gonna be a better way. And I found it, Bria AI. Now, Bria is a visual generative AI platform that's built differently. It's like they heard all our gripes about inconsistent outputs and said, well, let's fix that. Bria comes with a no-code UI, which is perfect for non-programmers and impatient folks like me, called the Bria Studio. And for enterprise teams, everything you see here is also available through robust APIs and SDKs, AWS, Comfy UI, you name it. So you can plug the same workflows directly into your product pipeline. If you're a developer building more advanced use cases, especially in 3D or gaming, Bria also supports deep fine tuning options beyond the light version we're using today. Their models are purpose built and for complex assets, direct model access gives you much more granular control. Let me tell you, it tackles exactly those challenges. Consistent style, variations in the theme, you name it. Before we dive into a demo, a quick overview of why Bria felt like a lifesaver. Bria's models are trained on 100% licensed data sets. That means everything it generates is copyright safe and ethically sourced. No more worrying that your artwork is accidentally lagarizing someone's work. Getty Images is even on record praising Bria's approach, so you know it's enterprise grade. Whether you're a solo creator or a corporate team, Bria helps you ship visuals faster without legal blockers. Plus, Bria is designed with consistency and control in mind. It even has a feature literally called tailored generation to magnify your brand or style consistently across images. They focus on real world use, not just fun random memes, so you can trust the outputs for serious projects. Okay, enough talk. Let me show you how Bria handles the exact same task that left ChatGPT stumped. Now I've got Bria Studio open. Let's recreate our challenge. Style consistent visual assets, say a character and some additional variations in the same style. All right, let's say you've sketched a cool cartoon night and now you want more. Maybe a whole cast of characters in that same style. How do we do it? Time to hop into Bria AI's tailored generation and cook up some style consistent variants. We're starting from scratch, so first stop the training projects tab in Bria Studio. This is where all your fine tuning magic begins. From here, I'll create a new project. Bria asks for a few settings. For medium, I'll select illustration. Since our night is a 2D cartoon, illustration is the way to go. For project type, I'll choose character variants. That basically tells Bria, hey, I'm training a model to make variations of one character. Keep in mind, this light training approach is great for 2D animation style assets like ours, but if you are aiming for 3D or high detail gaming characters, you will want to go for advanced fine tuning with more than 100 reference images. That's where Bria really shines for game studios and devs. Now, here's the important part. Setting up the training data set with Bria's new light training version. Light training is a faster fine tuning option. And to get the best results, we need to feed it a good collection of images of our character. Specifically, Bria recommends somewhere around 15 to 100 images of your character for light training. 
Yep, you can go up to 200, but 15 to 100 is the sweet spot. For more advanced workflows, especially in 3D or when building full-blown game characters, you'd want to push that data set even further and move beyond light training entirely, tapping into Bria's deep training setups. That's where pro-level consistency really kicks in. So I've gathered about, say, 15 high-quality images of our cartoon night in action. Quality matters. These should be clear 1024 by 1024 resolution images at minimum. If they're smaller, Bria will upscale them for you, but it's always better to start with crisp originals. I upload all these images into the project. They all share the same art style. That's super important. Consistency is key. All your training images should have a cohesive style, structure, and vibe. Think of it like making sure every picture looks like it's from the same comic or same artist. What you don't want is a mix of cartoony nights and ultra-realistic nights together. Pick one style and stick with it. On the flip side, you do want a bit of variety in content so the AI learns the full character. Use different poses, backgrounds, and scenarios for your night change up the environment and pose, even throw in a few different outfits or angles, as long as the art style stays consistent. Also, make sure the knight is the star of each image. This is what we call subject dominance. The knight should occupy most of the frame. No tiny stick figure knight in the distance, okay? Fill the image with the character so Bria really learns what our knight looks like in detail. That might mean cropping or zooming so the character is front and center. And if you have any images where the background is transparent, just know Bria will convert that transparency to black by default. It's not a big deal, but it's a good tip to avoid weird surprises. In general, a mix of some plain backgrounds and some detailed environments is great. Bottom line, lots of night, minimal empty space, and a variety of settings, all in the same style. Once I'm happy with my data set, it's time to train. I hit the train button. Now we wait a bit. Light training usually takes on the order of an hour or less to fine tune the model. Perfect time to grab a coffee or maybe sharpen your sword. Just kidding. But seriously, it's pretty quick considering we're teaching an AI your style from scratch. Our training is done. Now for the fun part. We'll switch over to the demo playground tab to test our freshly trained model. This playground is where you can prompt your new model to generate images just like you would with any AI image generator. But now it's using your knight's style as its base. Cool, right? There's a text prompt box here, so let's put it to the test. I'll type in female knight, same style, hold in a spell book. Why that? Maybe we want a female character in the same universe as our original knight, like a sorceress knight variant. And I want her carrying a spell book to see how well it handles new props. Ready? We hit generate, the AI does its thing for a few seconds, and up pops a brand new image. It's a female knight in armor holding a glowing spell book drawn in the exact same style as our original cartoon knight. How cool is that? The colors, the line style, the overall look, it all matches. That consistency is the whole point of this exercise. We can do this all day with different ideas. Want a villain version of your knight? Just prompt for an evil knight in the same style. Need the knight in winter gear? Prompt for knight in fur cloak, same style, in a snowy landscape. The model will keep churning out on-brand images because it's learned this is how we draw knights around here. And there you have it. We start with one cartoon knight and use Bria's tailored generation to spin up a whole lineup of style matching characters. This beats general prompt-based tools by a mile when you need consistency. With a standard AI image generator, every prompt is a roll of the dice. Your character might look like a different person each time. Not ideal if you're building a comic, animation, advertising campaign, or visual series and your audience expects the same character to show up reliably. But with a trained model like this, every image comes out on model and ready for use. Pretty amazing for solo creators and product teams alike, right? But Bria, the style is consistent, the quality is higher. I didn't have to fight an AI or write a paragraph of prompt hoping it gets the vibe right. I literally gave it one example and it understood the assignment. This is that moment where I'm like, where has this tool been all my life? Honestly, I felt empowered seeing my little world come to life character by character, all in the same art style. And remember, this was without writing any code or doing any complicated model training in my end. Bria's UI made it no code 
and beginner friendly. Now, Bria doesn't stop at just generating new images. It's an all-in-one visual AI toolbox. And for developers building custom pipelines, all this from training to generation to editing is accessible via API or even embeddable via iframes. So if you are integrating visual workflows into your own platform, you've got full flexibility. As I started exploring, I found a bunch of features that can make a creator's life easier. Ever wished you could just remove or add something in an image and have it look natural? Bria's got you covered. Their razor and generative fill lets you paint over an area you want gone, say goodbye to an unwanted object or blank space, and then Bria fills it in smartly. It's like Photoshop's content aware fill, but on steroids. For example, I had a scene with a table and I wanted some props on it. I masked the empty area and prompted Bria for a glowing potion bottle and it generated a bottle that fit the lighting and perspective perfectly. No seams, no obvious AI glitches. It belongs in the scene. This is awesome for expanding environments or removing things like logos, watermarks, photo bombers, while maintaining visual continuity. Okay, who here has spent time manually tracing the subject to delete a background? I have, and I dread it. And tools like Photoshop can mess up automatic removal. Bria's background removal is a one click. You upload an image, hit remove background, and it cleanly separates the subject from even the trickiest backgrounds. It's using a state-of-the-art model that is pixel perfect, even with complex details like hair or fur. I tried it on an image of a character with messy hair, and it nailed it. Gave me a perfect transparent PNG cutout. For visual creators, this is super useful. I can generate a character on a white background and then bam, remove background. Now I have just the clean subject ready to overlay on any layout or export to merge. And it does it in like five seconds. Huge time saver. Those are just a few highlights. The great thing is all these tools are in one place. You can, for example, generate a character, refine his face, remove the background and output it as a vector all within Bria's platform. And every single step is available programmatically so your dev team can automate the entire pipeline. Remember how I mentioned the ethical data set? Because Bria's trained on fully licensed data, the images it generates are safe for commercial use. As a creator, the last thing I want is to unknowingly use an image that gets me in trouble down the line. With Bria, I know the output is illegally clean and responsibly sourced. So if I ever decide to publish or monetize my work, I'm covered. If you are a developer and at some point you want to integrate Bria into your app or pipeline, they offer APIs and even iframe embeds for all these capabilities. So I could say integrate Bria's generative fill or tailored generation into custom creative tool or art assistant and deploy it on AWS in minutes. The flexibility is there when I need it, which is awesome as you level up from hobby project to something more professional. What started as frustrated evening with GBT turned into a pretty sweet solution with Bria AI. We went from pulling our hair out over inconsistent AI images to effortlessly generating a whole set of consistent characters and illustrations that look like they belong together. For solo creators and small teams, this kind of tool is a game changer. I genuinely feel like I have a superpower now. I can prototype ideas and artwork so much faster and with more confidence in the results. No more settling for close enough. Now I get exactly what I need. So thanks Bria for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.